In this video, I will explain how to calculate the weight of MS angles accurately. It is essential for construction and manufacturing projects. Whether you are a professional in the field or a student looking to understand these calculations better. This step-by-step -step guide will help you get accurate results. So before we start, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you will be the first to know when I upload something new. Also, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for latest updates. Now let's get started. So first we have to understand what is an MS angle. An MS or mild steel angle is a piece of steel shaped like an L. You can see this is shaped like an L with two perpendicular sides of equal or unequal length and a specified thickness. These angles are commonly used in construction fabrication and various structural applications due to their strength and versatility. They come in different dimensions and are essential for providing support in frameworks and structures. So you can see this is length, this is width and this is thickness. This is thickness. Okay. Now, an MS angle is an L shaped plate piece with two sides, length and width and a thickness. Okay. So, MS angles come in various dimensions, but we will focus on an angle with the dimension of 25 into 25 into 3 millimeter. This means both sides of the angle are 25 millimeter, both sides 25 millimeter and thickness is 3 millimeter. Okay. So, Dimension is 25 into 25 into 3 millimeter. So, for our example, 25 into 25 into 3 millimeter. So, the, the dimensions are length is 25 millimeter. You can see this is length 25 mm. Then, width. This is width. Width is also 25 mm. Thickness 3 mm. You can see this side and this side, both side thickness, 3 mm. Length of the angle, 1000 millimeter. So, these are the dimensions. Now, length 25 mm, width 25 mm, thickness 3 mm. And length of the angle, 1000 mm. So, next step, convert dimensions to meters. We have to convert all the dimensions which are now in millimeter, we have to convert them to meter. So, we convert the dimensions from millimeters to meter to simplify the calculation. Length, it is 25 mm, so it will be 0 0.025 meter. If we we'll convert into meter, width 25 mm, it will be 0 0.025 meter. Thickness will be 0 0.003 meter. 3 mm, 0 0.003 meter, just divide with 1000. Length of the angle, 1000 mm. So, it will be 1 meter. Okay, so we have converted this to meter. Next step. Step number 3, divide the angle into two parts and calculate the volume of each part. We have to divide the angle into two parts and we have to calculate the volume of each part. Okay. So, the angle can be divided into two rectangular parts, part A and part B. You can see here, this we have divided into two parts. So, this part is part A, this is width part A and length we have taken part B. Okay, this is length, length we have taken part B, width we have taken part A. Now we have to calculate volume of part A. So one side of the angle, okay, this is one side of the angle, volume A. So volume of A, width into thickness into length of the angle. Length of the angle, 1 meter. Okay. So volume of A, this is 
zero point zero two five meter. We have changed. We have converted zero point zero two five meter into zero point zero zero three meter. This is thickness. This three mm. Okay. So volume of a. This is volume of a. A uh, width is zero point zero zero two five meter. This is twenty five mm. If we will convert this to meter. This is zero point zero two five meter into thickness three mm. Convert this to meter zero point zero zero three meter into length of the angle one meter. Okay, so we are getting volume of a zero point zero 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 seven five cubic meter. This is volume of a. Next, we have to calculate volume of part b. Other side of the angle. This is part b. This is part a, and this is Here to here, this is part B. Now volume of B, length minus thickness, because this is the total. Here to here, this is total length. So from this length, we have to deduct this thickness because we have calculated this with this width. Here we have calculated width. Okay, twenty five mm. So from this, we have to deduct this thickness. This thickness we have to deduct so length minus this length minus here to here this thickness. Okay, this thickness also three mm right. So this thickness we have to deduct from this total length. So length minus thickness into thickness into length of the angle. Okay, you understand? So length is twenty five mm here to here twenty five mm that is zero point zero two five meter total here to here. Minus this thickness zero three uh, mm or zero point zero zero three meter zero point zero two five meter minus zero point zero zero three meter into zero point zero zero three meter this thickness zero point zero zero three meter into one meter okay one meter is length of the angle we are getting. Volume of B zero point zero zero two. This is if we we'll deduct zero point zero two five minus zero point zero zero three meter, we are getting zero point zero two two meter into zero point zero zero three into one meter. We are getting volume zero point zero 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 double six cubic meter. Okay, zero point zero 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 six six cubic meter. Now step four. Calculate the total volume. We have calculated volume of part, a, uh, volume of A, volume of B. Now we have to calculate the total volume. The so total volume add the volumes of part A and part B to get the total volume. So. Total volume, volume A plus volume B, because add the volumes of part A and part B to get the total volume. This is volume A we have calculated, volume B we have calculated. So total volume will be volume A plus volume B. Okay. So total volume, volume A we have calculated zero point zero 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 seven five cubic meter plus volume B we have calculated zero point zero 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 six six cubic meter. So total volume will be zero point zero 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 one four one cubic meter. This is total volume. Now fifth step: calculate the weight. Now we have to. This is the final step. We have to calculate the weight. So calculate the weight using the total volume and the density of steel. Okay. So the density of mild steel is approximately seven eight five zero kg for cubic meter. Okay, seven eight five zero kg for cubic meter. This is density of mild steel. Now weight is total volume into density of steel. Okay, weight of steel formula, weight weight formula, total volume into density of steel. Now total volume. We have calculated here zero point zero 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 one four one cubic meter into total uh, density seven eight five zero kg per cubic meter. Now we are getting weight. 
1.10685 kg. So cubic meter cubic meter will be cancelled. So it will be kg. 1.10685 kg. This is weight of MS angle. Okay. So therefore, the weight of the MS angle with dimension 25 into 25 into 3 millimeter is 1.10685 kg. Okay. So, by following these steps, you can accurately calculate the weight of other MS angles with different dimensions. This is, we have calculated with this dimensions 25 into 25 into 3 millimeter. So, by following this, the, all the steps, you can accurately calculate the weight of other milestone angles with different dimensions. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, share the video and give valuable comments in the comment section. And if you have any query, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.